everybody, this is Fernando again. I had a forum user request I make a video, show you how to get um, your DAW, or in this case Reaper, to send patch changes to your AMP modeler. So forgive me if I ramble, I'm a little tired, but I'm gonna get through this. Um, so anyway, let's get started. We're running Reaper 64, Micro Pro, down here I have my I have my MIDI Sports 2x2 by M Audio. It's got two MIDI po MIDI ports on it, so I have one uh, MIDI cable running from my AxeFX Ultra to the MIDI put uh, MIDI Sport, and another two are the Pod HD 500X. So as long as your device has a a MIDI in and you know the CC numbers, then you can, this is where, that's where the fun stuff can happen. So with, so you'll be running, so in this case I'm running the out from, out of channel B on the MIDI sport to the in on my XFX Ultra. So start from scratch. Well, you essentially just start with a new track. Let's create a new track. You'll uh, click on insert and choose a, a new MIDI item. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention. If you have a MIDI um, controller of some sort, you need to go under the, the preferences, MIDI devices, and make sure that your MIDI device is enabled. It wasn't showing up for some reason, that's why. So I had to do that first. So from this MIDI section, we'll double click on it. Actually, before we do that, we'll click on the I.O. button here. And we, we're going to specify the MIDI Sport, sorry, it's blurry, MIDI Sport Out B. And we can turn off the master parent send. We don't need that. Apparently, we don't. So as long as you set the channel correctly, now we should get some signal. So wherever the playhead is going to be is where your patch change is going to happen. So the first thing you want to do is on oh, the lower left corner, it's already sl selected, but by default, I think it's velocity. So you want to change that to bank and program select. So that way you're sending a signal, um, a patch change signal. So I'm going to click on this um, on 1.3 window pops up. Uh, for the axe effects, from my understanding, the MSB represents the bank. So like the bank, first bank 127 patches is bank zero or the first bank. Um, one represents bank B or second bank for this from 128 on, uh, and so on and so forth. I like to work with the lower numbers just to keep it simple. Zero apparently doesn't. Uh, this next the LSB number does not seem to matter a whole lot. Uh, your MIDI channel is what you are sending the signal out on. So your pod, I don't know if pod the pod has an omnidirectional where it receives from every, every channel. The XFX does, so I can send it to anything, but in this case, we'll just, you know, which is channel six. So make sure on your pod, it's your uh, MIDI is set to that same channel, so that way it receives it. And then program patch, uh, program change represents the patch. So we'll start with three right here. So whenever uh, we hit 1.3 with the playhead, obviously it's not called honky tonk piano that's okay, that's just the default that's going to come up um, I think for patch 3 but once it hits that, you can rename that and it could be whatever you'd like uh, so go ahead, I'm going to copy this a few times and I want to change this I'll change it to patch one. I'll change it one more, and I'll add another one, just for grins. And we'll make this to uh, patch two. Just so that way they're changing on different patches, you can see how quick it does change, it sends the signal. So if all goes well, we're gonna just keep an eye on this. There's the change, there's three, one, and then it's two. Perfect.
So yeah, that's that's all there is to it. So obviously this works great if you have a backing track. If you tab out your stuff in Guitar Pro and have the MIDI, you can really line it up and get everything nice and lined up. Uh, or if you have a click track, highly recommend for your drummer to keep everything really tight. But this this can definitely you don't have to worry about um, losing concentration to to stomp on a pedal. And this is definitely tightened up our practice by a lot. So uh, if you have any questions, comments, just let me know. Otherwise, hopefully this was um, helpful to you. Have a great day, or I guess night in this case.